more coppice terms and moving on to something which is not what it seems. This is a standard. The standard is a tree within a coppice which is not cut as coppice and then is left on a much longer rotation than the main coppice itself. This is also a maiden. The Urvica. That's basically a tree which has never been cut as coppice either purposely or by default. Some of these oaks, even this age, you can cut them off at the base and they will re-coppice. Almost any UK native hardwood tree will coppice. Conifers don't. And coppicing basically regrows from a cut stump. Turning around here, this is a cherry. It's a UK native species. This is a bird cherry or gene, spelled G-E-A-N. This is an excellent woodland indicator, ancient woodland indicator. And you can tell it because it's got this uh, rather nice stripy bark. The colour does vary from site to site. It's got these uh, long lines of lenticels, which is basically the way the tree communicates with the atmosphere through its bark, which is otherwise impervious, and they're in long lines, and they're a slightly different colour to the bark itself, which is usually this lovely sort of silvery sheen to it. That's a fairly small one. Some bigger ones over here. This one's got ivy up it. And if you look up, see there's two that have obviously grow up together, similar age. So these are big as standards, nice and tall, nice and slender, but they're not what they seem because that oak that we saw and the one behind it, they're individual trees. They're actually individuals. Whereas this, another one in here, look, another one here, is actually a clone. Bird cherry is what this is, Prunus avium, avies Latin for birds, Prunus a plum or plum-like thing, plum-like fruit. It's an excellent ancient woodland indicator because it grows in woodlands and it doesn't reproduce by seed or spread very quickly. And that's a feature which most ancient woodland indicators have in common. You see there's a lot of them in here does spread by suckers which is regrowth from an established root system basically the root system will put up a shoot which will turn into a tree this is a rather old one which is cycling down towards the end of its its life competing rather poorly with its younger scions around it and these will all be joined by the root system also Bird cherry is one of the few, very few, UK native hardwoods that does not coppice. It only suckers. So this tree is probably all one. And this is probably all an extremely old and extremely large organism. Ah, oh, but Auntie Nim, I hear you cry. How do we tell if you're talking a load of Tommy Tollocks all about this? Well, this is the beauty of YouTube. You don't just by watching this video. If anybody's interested, there are places you can go and you can look for answers. One of the reasons I put up these videos is to get people to ask questions. To think about things. Think about things that they see when they walk out in the countryside in the UK. So, bird cherry, or gene, ancient wood indicator, an extremely lovely thing. Oh, I was going to stop recording there, but I, I shall go on a bit longer. Right, so the hazel's a crop, potentially, if the deer leave it alone. The standards are also a crop, much longer time, spell, time span. These could also be a crop. What if you were to come in and you were to cut all these, this is extremely valuable timber when it's of good form. A veneer log of one of these could be worth many thousands of pounds, many hundreds of pounds. 
The timber itself is good for furniture making and these are all of a good size. So you could theoretically come and cut all these and make yourself up a rather nice, rather valuable parcel of timber. What does that mean for this organism if you take all these down? Well in the long run, not a lot, provided you don't plough, grub or cause huge compaction damage with your machinery to the land. Because the root system is still there and it may be putting up new suckers. It may be doing in this, in this area here, which is fenced against deer and has been recoppiced. So we can't see it because of the regrowth and all the brambles etc that are in there at the moment. But it may well be that you've got new young little cherries coming up in there to carry the life of this huge organism on further. Well, I hope that makes sense. Thank you for listening, if indeed you have listened.